So today I'm talking to you about guitar stands and whether or not they're bad for your guitar. The answer is no. Um, this is one of those questions that people ask. Uh, I feel like it's a procrastination question. And by that, I mean that like people will ask questions like this um, as a way of avoiding practicing and playing the instrument and actually like doing things, you know, because it's not like a, a serious question, I find. Um, with that in mind, though, you know, while guitar stands are not bad for your guitar, really, I think there's a few things that are worth mentioning about it. One of them being that, you know, if you have a guitar that has a nitro cellulose finish, which is like the old school way of finishing a guitar, um, that could in chemically interact with the rubber on your guitar stand and it could like wear away at the stand um, or excuse me, wear away at the guitar and make a very ugly like black mark on the instrument. Um, another thing that is important to mention, I find, is that, you know, it, like everything else in life, it's best to have a good stand. Um, like you can see my stand right here. Um, I don't have good stands to be honest. Like this is not a good stand. It's like the guitars are kind of packed in there. It's falling apart. This uh, cylinder is off it. And then this Yorkville stand. You, you can sell. You can tell it's not a good stand by the the back leg back here. Like if this was a really good stand, the the back legs would be much bigger, and these legs would be bigger as well. Like that's a serious stand. You can kind of see what that looks like here. Like this is a Hercules stand. And you can see how big the legs are on this thing. Um, so that's a that's a good move. Um, or you can get like a Fender Deluxe stand. Um, you can tell that you know the legs are just a little more sturdy. It's just a little more serious. Like the stand itself is just it's more serious. It's more it's more strongly built. Um, you know when you have a a stand with short little legs, it's easy for it to get knocked over. And then when it gets knocked over, then you have a broken guitar or it's chipped or, you know, you have something bad happen to it either way. Um, especially when you have a high traffic area. If you have a high traffic area where people are walking by all the time, it's wise to have a good stand, but like a Hercules stand, because if people bump into it, it won't actually knock the guitar over. With the Yorkville stand that's over in the corner there, it's not like that. Like it can, it can be knocked over very easily. Um, regarding the nitrocellulose, this is what this would kind of look like. Um, when you have an old school guitar like that or a custom shop guitar, um, the paint literally kind of wears away on it and it actually looks pretty cool. Some people even buy the guitar so it's made to be like that so it's kind of worn away. Um, they definitely look really cool. However, the nitrocellulose, it'll wear off on the back of the stand in a way that doesn't look cool. It'll just have like a, a big mark on the back of it. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that cheap guitar stands are too compact. So you can see like this one here, like this is supposed to hold three guitars, but like it kind of does, but not really. Like a, I don't know, it's just not a great stand. I'll definitely be getting a new one sometime in the future. Um, this one's just falling apart and it's just ruined. It's over in my, my corner over there. But yeah, I'll definitely be getting like a multi-stand, like a multi-Hercules stand that holds six guitars. And as I said before, like cheap guitar stands are just notoriously unstable, man. Like you, you can knock them over so easily and they're just kind of a pain. I find that it's best to just, like everything, like I said before, like everything else in life, you just want to pay the money and get like something real. Otherwise, you're going to have, uh, you know, you're going to pay for it in some way. You're going to pay for it in convenience, annoyance. Um, there's going to be some way that you're going to pay for it. Maybe not, not monetarily speaking, but you are going to pay for that, for that, uh, uh, discrepancy between the value and what you paid. L let's say you do have a guitar stand and you do have a nitro cellulose finish. You could just put a towel on the back of the guitar and then just hold that there. I used to do that with my ESP eclipse, um, until I found out later that my guitar uses a polyurethane finish. So it's like, I had no reason to ever worry about anything like that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it, man. Like just to kind of wrap things up, it's like, yeah, you know, a guitar stand isn't bad for your guitar. Um, if you have a nitro cellulose finish, maybe you should be a little careful. And, uh, you know, if you have a, your guitar in a high traffic area, you should also be careful. Um, you know, if you, if you have multiple guitars at this point, you'll probably know the importance of having a good stand. You know, if you're just a beginner and you have like one or two guitars, cheap stands are just going to work fine. You know, they're going to work totally fine. Um, but yeah, that's it. Make sure you like the video and then I'll see you in the next one. All right.